Hello. So, do do you think should I get eyebrows like her? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and she has some wild eyebrows. <laughs> Let's put that in. Wild eyebrows. I'll put a exclamation mark. We'll make a full sentence. How about that? Can you guys hear the music? Hmm. Could you guys hear the music? Can anyone tell me what was the name of that song? Hmm. Been around for a long, long, long time. All right. Hello, 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 everyone. Okay, so hit this pant. I assume you could hear the music. All right, here we go. Let's uh, jump in. And once again, I'm Michael from Able Idioms. Our motto is master your idioms and master your English. Once you start, once you start studying idioms, and you're ready to start moving in that. People who study idioms are usually already at an intermediate or advanced level because being able to speak idioms or understand idioms is something that native speakers do. So, all right, hello everyone. We have a few people joining. Wonderful. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to switch the camera around, and we're going to take a look at what we're going to do today. First, first, we're going to focus. All right. Master your idioms, master your English. All right. Okay. So, howdy. Does anybody remember? I think I said howdy on one of the first times I went live. Howdy is just another way to say hello. Right? So, a good day to wherever you are in the world. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to do an inspirational quote. We're going to explore a meme, and we're going to invite viewers live. All right. And I want to share something with you guys. Tomorrow I will also be going live, but tomorrow is a little bit extra special because I'll be going live with another teacher. So this will be the first for me to go live with another teacher, and I think it could be a, a wonderful experience. So if you guys know the teacher, ask Teacher Will. He and I will be going live tomorrow. And I will put a countdown in my story so you guys can come and watch that if you want. And we'll be doing it on his account. And so I'll go live with him tomorrow and we'll be chatting. And hopefully it can be something that you guys uh, find interesting. All right, Nina772 says, yes, Teacher Will, right. So tomorrow, Teacher Will and I will be going live, and it will be almost about the same time, but an hour different from the start time of this live. Okay, all right. So let's jump in to the inspirational quote. That's how we started off. Okay, so here's the quote to begin. And like always, I'm going to say the quote, and then I'm going to wait so you guys can pronounce after me. Wherever you are in the world, repeat after me. Here we go. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. All right. So this is the quote for today, and if you repeat it out loud after me, if you started practicing your pronunciation give me some amp give me some apples in the comments so right now you can repeat after me one more time life is really simple but we insist on making it complicated all right so let's take a look at the guy who said this here he is this is the guy who said it and his name is Confucius. He is a... Oh, Nina772. Those are a lot of apples. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So let me... The guy who said this quote is Confucius. Probably one of the most 
famous philosophers in the history of mankind, right? So what do you guys think about this quote? I don't think there are very many big words in it. The biggest word is complicated. Can someone tell me what complicated means? I'll move this to the side. You guys tell me what what does the word complicated mean? What do you think? Let's see. What does this word mean? So life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. So what does the word complicated mean? Or, ah, Yavuz English says not simple. Right, not simple, difficult. We could say complex. Some You could say hard. Not like hard is in the opposite of soft, but hard is in a hard problem. It's difficult to understand. All right, Osman Yuzdugi says make difficult. Right, Mayor Kamo 18 says uh, always appreciate the little things in life. Okay, all right. So there's one more. Mar Mari or Mar Kamo 18 says not easy. Right. Okay, so the word complicated is means not simple, difficult, complex, hard, and not easy. Okay, so in this quote, the first part is that life is really simple. And depending on your view, I mean, we could talk about eating, right? We could talk about eating healthy food, which, thank goodness, is not very complicated, but we make it complicated <laughs> when we eat candy and we eat all these unhealthy foods. So Confucius says that life is simple, but we insist. Ah, here's another good word. What does insist mean? What do you think? If we insist on something, what does the word insist mean? What do you think? Hmm, any ideas? We insist on something. We insist on making it complicated. What do you think insist means? Any ideas? I'm looking at the com comments below. Ah, MRT YNGC says persist in. All right. I like that. Right. Uh, insist on, persist in, right? Another way we could do, which is a little bit different but quite similar, is we choose to, right? We make the decision to. So we could say, life is really simple, but we persist in making it complicated. Life is really simple, but we choose to make it complicated. Or life is really simple, but we make the decision to make it complicated. So. I think this is a nice quote. What do you guys think? All right. Another example I would think when I see this quote is that uh, uh, Osman Yultugi says stick to. Sure. It's kind of like we're stubborn, right? <laughs> we stick to something. We keep doing it no matter what, even though the information and the evidence is telling us to do something different. So my example for this one is eating healthy. It's pretty simple, right? Eat vegetables. <laughs> Eat things that don't always taste great, but your body loves them. And we choose to eat other things. <laughs> we choose to eat sugar. Or we choose to eat chips. And we choose to eat other things that are not healthy. So that would be an example of how life is simple uh, to eat healthy. And then we make it complicated by not eating healthy. All right. So let's take one more look at Confucius. All right. Hello Confucius, and now we're going to move on to the second part. Alright, here we go. So let's in explore a meme. And I think I saw a comment before that says, what is a meme? I think that's a wonderful question. What is a meme? A meme is something such as a video, picture, or phrase that a lot of people send to each other on the internet. And I'm sure you've seen them. And I'm just going to go straight into the one that we have today. Once again, it's meme. It's not mem, it's not meme, it's not mimi, it's meme. So this E is silent, and it's meme. Okay, here we go. 
<laughs> this is the meme for today. And I think it should be clear enough for you guys to see. Let's see. We'll start, I'll start by describing the picture. And then we'll read the words, right? So we have a lady. I, 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 I'm going to guess it's a lady. Who knows? <laughs> uh, the thing that stands out to me right now are her eyebrows, right? They're like, wow, they just pop out, right? They kind of look like bulls, bull's horns. If you put the head of a bull in there, they kind of look like horns. <laughs> but anyway, so this is a lady. She looks like she's sitting in her car. And I'm just going to say it's a lady. I suppose it's possible it's a guy, but I'll describe her as a lady. She's sitting in the car seat. This is the headrest. I would say she's probably in the front seat of her car and taking a selfie. I don't know if it's a video or a selfie, uh, just a quick picture. I'm not quite sure what she's looking at. Uh, she has lipstick on, kind of a pink or purplish color. We could say she's black or African American. And she has some wild eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that in. Wild eyebrows. I'll put a exclamation mark. We'll make a full sentence. How about that? She has wild eyebrows. Okay. So we have a lady in the picture. We can only see her head. She has black hair. Can't see much. Can't see her clothing or anything like that. So the picture. This is a meme, right? It's a picture that people might find funny or interesting. <laughs> Ain't the same says they're snake like. <laughs> I think yeah, I agree that they, they kind of look like bull's horns. If you had the head of a bull right here, and then these could be the horns. But so this is an example of a meme. So people took this, or someone took this picture and added words. So the words are I'm going to re read it, and then you guys pronounce after me, okay? She's angry, happy, scared, confused, and intrigued. All at the same time. <laughs> okay, so if you guys uh, repeat, if you repeat it after me, give me some apples in the comments. I like to know that you guys are participating. Wherever you are in the world, it's never too early or too late to practice your pronunciation. Okay, so I'll do it one more time. Repeat after me. She's angry, happy, scared. Confused and intrigued all at the same time. <laughs> all right. So at the end, all of the letters are, in, are capital letters, right? Sometimes that they do that because it's just easier to read the meme, right? They put an exclamation mark at the end. So that's why at the end I don't say all at the same time. I say all at the same time. <laughs> So we have all of these emotions, right? Angry, happy, scared, confused, and intrigued. All right, so another word for angry is, is mad, right? You can maybe say upset. Another word for happy could be glad. Um, happy, I'm very, maybe very content. All right, so angry is mad, upset, happy is glad, and maybe very content. Scared could be like really nervous or really anxious, right? Uh, confused is, let's see, mm, say we don't understand something, right? Oh. Oh, here's another good word for confused. We could say mystified. Everybody repeat after me. Mystified. Hmm. Mystified starts with the same three letters as, or the same four letters as mystery, right? So if we're really confused, we could be mystified. It's like, wow, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. <laughs> okay. And the last word is probably the biggest one, maybe the most difficult to understand, intrigued. Can someone tell me, or everyone tell me who can, what, does, or what is another word for intrigued? Or a different way to explain the word intrigued. What do you guys say? All right, oh, right, Car Caridio says perplexed, right, Con confused, perplexed.
Right, you guys are my dictionary. Wonderful. Let's see. Uh, Maharaj Sinu says it's because of those eyebrows. <laughs> well, that's the joke, right? That's the meme that she has all these emotions at once, right? Right? Ain't the same COZ as the abbreviation of because. Sure. All right. So intrigued. Ah, Mare Kalmo 18 says interested. Right. Right. So if we're intrigued in something, we like something. Or you could also say we find something interesting. Right. So if we're interested, we're intrigued. Okay, so back again. This lady is angry, happy, scared, confused, and intrigued. So she's mad. She's mad, glad, really anxious, perplexed, and interested all at the same time. <laughs> Let's see. Ain't the same G is silent. It's a new word to me. I'm not sure if are we talking about the word intrigued because in this one it's not silent uh, if it's a noun it's intrigue intrigue or it could be a verb to intrigue and so you do say the G the U is kind of silent intrigued alright okay so this <laughs> whoever saw this picture they put some words on it and they decided that this lady looks like she has a whole bunch of emotions. And yeah, who knows what she's feeling? <laughs> um, who can tell me? What do you think? Do you think her eyebrows are natural or fake? Oop, fake. What do you think? Hmm, natural or fake? Do, 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 do. What do you guys think? Is this are these ladies' eyebrows fake? Nelly Niswati says fake, right? And I'm definitely not an eyebrow expert. Fake for sure. Ah, Osman Yuldzugi says tattoo. Right, I would guess a tattoo, or maybe some type of makeup marker. I don't know. I don't wear makeup, so I don't really know much about it, but. Wow, if someone convinced her to get tattooed eyebrows, the hard thing, well, the potential challenge with tattoos is that they're permanent, right? Alright. They're permanent. Unless you have the layer of skin removed. So that's like ripped off or use like they use special, what is it, radiation? I forgot exactly what they use, x-ray or something, to peel off the layer of skin. So permanent means it's going to be around for a long time. Okay, so this was the meme for today. Whoever asked before, what is a meme? Here's an example of a meme. We have an interesting, maybe funny, maybe scary, maybe intriguing picture. And someone puts usually white letters with a black border on it. And it means, uh, yeah, they want to talk about it and say something funny or interesting. Okay. All right. Um, so we did the inspirational quote, we did explore meme, and now we're going to get to the section of invite viewers live. And I'm just going to re repeat one thing I had said before at the beginning, that tomorrow I'll be going live again, and I'll be going live with Ask Teacher Will. So this is his account name, if you want to check him out. We'll be going live, and I'll put a countdown in my stories, so you guys can check it out if you want. All right. So, what we're going to do right now, I think we've been going for about 20 minutes, and I'm going, we're going to go live with people. I'm going to ask if you want to join and stuff, and I'll take pictures, or show you pictures, and we can talk about them and stuff. But what I'm going to do is, because almost every other time, I go overtime. <laughs> so then, it cuts off someone's, uh, their, their live, and it cuts off their conversation. So let me flip this back around so you can see me. Ah, you'll actually see my face today. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this live and I'm going to restart it. Okay, so it'll take what, 10 seconds? 
So this live will be available and I'm going to restart it so we'll have the whole 60 minutes to be able to chat and look at pictures and stuff. Okay? So I'm going to end this live and I'll make sure to share it and I'm coming back <laughs> in like three seconds. Okay? All right. See you in just a moment. Okay, so I'm back live, and this is to refresh it to make sure that I get the full 60 minutes to, to spend with you guys and we can chat, talk about pictures and ask questions and all that stuff. Okay, so I see people coming back in. See, I'm a man of my word. I said I would be back, and I'm back. Okay, hello, hello, hello. All right, so this is the time where we look at pictures and if you guys want to come live oh, I already have a request so we'll take a look at the request it's Analupo 18 for Analupo 18 and we'll see if it if she pops up and we can chat ah uh, she declined hmm hmm curious why you guys request but then decline so okay uh, if you guys want to join me right now I'm gonna see if anybody's in the queue that wants to chat nobody at the moment okay Okay, that's all right. If you guys want to join me live right now, this is the time where we talk about a picture and you describe it. I'll ask you questions, I'll help you out, and we can have conversation and the viewers can help us. So if you want to go, I'm seeing people, more people are joining now. Uh, if you want to go live, send me a request or just put in the comments, I want to go live with you. Let's see, Ana Lupo 18, she apologized, sorry. That's all right. No worries. Okay. All right. Lavika 7 says hello from the Ukraine. How about everyone else? What countries do we have present? All right. Cyber, Cyber WS, Server WS says Brazil. All right. What other countries? Hmm. So Brazil, hola. Ukraine. I don't speak Ukraine, but uh, let's see. Stravstoitsha, <laughs> Russian, ah, Azerbaijan, all right, Turkey, all right, okay, Jordan, but live in Connecticut, well, I'm from the U.S., but I live in Indonesia, <laughs> Saudi Arabia, all right, Ahalan, Iran, Salam, that's right, Italy, uh, bonjour, no, best French, uh, ciao, can you say ciao for hello and goodbye and... In Italian, I think you can. How am I? I'm doing well. All right. Okay. So, if anybody wants to go live right now, send me a request. Um, Indonesia, selamat, selamat datang. All right. Okay. So, I don't have any requests right now to go live. So, I'm going to do the picture by myself. It might get a little bit quiet in here, but I will do it. And if you guys want to type and talk with me, that's just fine. If anybody suddenly feels bold and they want to go live, let's see, Ana Lubo 18 says, yes, it's always ciao. I, all right, hello and goodbye is ciao. All right. All right, let's see. All right, so let's look at a picture. And if you guys feel like you want to join, then you're more than welcome. All right, here we are. First, let's get it into focus. Ah, I bet he is thinking about getting it into focus. All right, let me adjust. There we are. Okay, so we have a picture. Mm hmm. And since there's no one to ask questions, well, you guys in the comments, you guys can type. Uh, if I had someone here live with me, then I would ask them questions and ask them to talk with me. All right, so Ahmed Fadi 2002 says there's a photographer. I agree. Yes, and we could say the photographer is what? What is he doing? We could say he's facing away from us, right? He's not looking at us. So we could say he is facing away from us. <clears throat> he's not looking at us, right? Lavika 7 says he's he takes photo, right? We could say he is... He's in the middle of the action, right? So we'd say he's taking photos. You could also say he's taking pictures. Right? Let's see. Yeah, taking pictures, taking photos. Sure, that's that's just fine. All right. 
How about, let's talk about what is he wearing? First thing I see is that he's wearing, I would call it, a baseball cap. And why don't we, we'll do an image search, see if it pops up. We'll do image search for baseball cap so that you guys can see different ones. All right. So this is the style of baseball cap, right? that they might use like the Los Angeles uh, Dodgers or baseball teams in the US so those are baseball caps so I would say he's wearing a baseball cap we can't see what the logo is alright let me go back to the comments alright Ashkan Bakhtiar 556 says he's in a blue shirt yes ain't the same says a blue shirt navy blue sh navy blue shirt says Gazal Hosseini right uh, Osman you'll, you'll Yildutugi says he has a shoulder bag, right? And it looks like he might have, he has two straps. I bet the brown one is probably for a bag, and the bag's somewhere off screen. And this strap over here, can you guys tell me what this black strap is for? I don't think it's for a bag. It's possible, but it's probably for something else. What do you think? All right, Victor, Victor Elias Barrios says he's wearing a bag, right? So he has two straps. The brown one's probably for a bag. The extra black strap, aha, Sama Al Alaze says for the camera, right? And it looks like it connects over here to the camera. And it must be a fairly expensive camera if uh, he wants to wear a strap, right? If someone bumps him or he, he falls down, then the camera won't become... Come become broken, right? Osman Yuldsugi says for his camera equipment, right? And we can just say camera equipment. We don't put the S, we just say, oh, and I should probably spell it right, ha, huh? camera equipment, right? It's kind of like the word information. We don't say informations, we just say information. All right, let's see, Camellia. P.T. Camellia P.T. says he has a tripod, right? And it looks like it's probably a heavy-duty one, more of a professional tripod. All right, he has a bag. Uh, Victor, Victor Elia Barrio says, I imagine the bag is is for the camera and the, the lens of the camera. Ah, right, the lenses, right? He might have multiple lenses. Let me say camera lenses. All right, why don't we put that into the image search? and just see what it looks like camera lenses right so camera equipment nice lenses for all the different kind of camera enthusiasts out there all right okay what do you guys think he is taking a picture of oh I have a request to be in the live video Let's see if they decline or if they accept. It says waiting for Ismail Ismail Love B. Hodzad 1995. Alright, let's see what happens. Still waiting. Well while we're waiting, then oh it's like, oh, it's like Hello. Hello bro. How are you? I am fine, thank you. What's about you? I'm doing fabulous. I'm doing fabulous. Looks like we have an uh, echo. Looks like we have an do you have two I, microphones? I, 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 I can't I can't see you bro. Can you turn on your Can you turn your camera? My camera is My camera. is yes, on. I, I can't see is you. I can't see you like this. I can't see you like this, yeah. Uh well I can see myself. Uh, well, I can see myself. Can can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Yes, I can see you. But but, but I can't see you bro. Well, uh, let's see. Let's ask the other people uh, in the comments. Other people in the comments. Can, everyone yeah. Can everyone else see me? Can everyone else see me? All right. Ain't what, the same. What did you say? Can you repeat? Uh, ain't the same. It's like people are saying, that they, can can people are saying that they can see both of us. People are saying that they can see both of us. I'm gonna cut the connection because the echo. The connection because the echo is just not yeah, good. I, it's just not good. I I think uh, network. Okay. We had someone a, a while before when there was an echo, and it's just not good for communication. It actually, <laughs> it hurts my ears. Okay, let's see. We have some more requests. Bradley Cooper fever. The actor? 
No way! <laughs> All right, let's add Bradley Cooper, the famous, incredibly famous actor. Hmm. All right, waiting for Bradley Cooper. I'm waiting patiently. Let's see. Hopefully, we don't have an echo. Hello, hello. All right, they left. All right. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to come in and see if it worked. All right, let's see if anybody else is in the queue. I have uh, Burhana Namad87. Let's give it. Wait, we have a female. I try to go back and forth between male and female. Anila James. Let's see. Maybe if I smile more, the connection will be better. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's waiting. All right, we'll wait for a little bit before we jump back to the picture. It's much more fun when someone comes live. All right, it's loading, it's loading. Hello? Hello. Let's see, how is our connection? <laughs> oh, they left. People are leaving me. Oh. Okay, everyone is a little bit shy. Eh, that's all right. But I guarantee you the people that are bold are the ones that are really going to improve their English. <laughs> Especially this is what you call a free lesson. <laughs> Right? And I won't yell at you, I promise. I think other people have watched before, and I have not yelled at anyone. <laughs> All right, I have another request, and we'll give it a try, but if it's uh, echoey, I'm going to cut it again. It's Ismail Love Bezod, 1995. Give it a try. Take a drink of, drink of water. water. It's me again. Uh, yes. Yes. And the... And there's an echo, there's an echo. And, I and I can't keep going with the echo. Yes, yes, yes. It, it, yes, it hurts my yes. ears and it it's just hard for, just hard for people to understand. So, okay, can, can, so, we, can we try again? Well, we tried, but if well, there's an echo, tried, it's, an it's not going to work. So I don't it's know if you have head, maybe headphones and then try that. All right. Let's see. Brahmanad87 says, I made a request. And I thought I tapped on it. I'm going to send you a request to go live, and we'll see what happens. It says, waiting for Burhan Ahmad. Oh, it's coming. Perhaps. Hello? How are you? All right. No echo. Great. <laughs> okay. So, I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. All right. Can I get your name and where you're from? I am Burhan Ahmed and I am from Pakistan. Okay, wonderful. So, let's see. Would you speak uh, Urdu? Is that right? Yes. All right. You're so right. I'll say, I'll say uh, Shukriya for coming on live. Is that right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, uh, have you watched before? Do you know what we're we're gonna do, or shall I explain it to you? No, this is my first time. Oh, well, wonderful. Welcome. Okay, so I asked people to come on live, and maybe you already saw that I was looking at a picture. Uh, what I do is I show the picture to people, and they describe it to me. And if they have difficulty, no worries, no problem. I'll help you out, and we'll talk about it. Okay? Okay, okay. So I'm going to show you a picture, and you tell me what you see, and pretend Pretend that I can't see the picture, too. So you're trying to draw a picture in my mind, okay? Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, let's I'm going to disappear. All right. So let me refocus. All right. We'll get it in focus. All right. Whenever you're ready, tell me what you see. Uh, yes. Uh, there are two persons, one male and the other is female. Okay. And the female is holding something. And uh, she wanted to uh, knew, or she wanted to convey that what she is holding, or I think it's a mobile, or maybe not. Uh, they both have a conversation about what she is holding and what is in her hands. Okay. This is what I want to tell you. <laughs> and both uh, the female is wearing glasses. Okay. And the male uh, has the glasses, uh, but he hasn't uh, wear 
that glass and glasses okay he actually he hold that glasses on his head all right all right yeah can you tell me about the location uh yes they are in front of a sea or you can say a river all right in front of water okay and how about the weather uh the weather is uh, sunny Sun. because it's very pleasant yes it's a great day yes and what time of day do you think it is i think it's uh, it might be noon or maybe afternoon that okay. time it is and what makes you think that it is that time of day what ever, what information do we have in the picture that tells us the time of day um because it's very pleasant i think and uh, uh, the sun is outside the sun rays are there so that's why i chose that uh, it's a uh, it's a noon or maybe afternoon sure we could say that the sun is high in the sky and so it's still very bright out and so the yes, yes. the the shadows would be coming almost straight down because the sun is so high um yes reg regard yes, regarding his glasses we could say his glasses are pushed up on his forehead okay or okay. else pushed up on top whoop, top of his head so he's wearing them but he's not wearing them like she is right she has them in front of her eyes right yes and i it might not be clear what she's holding what do you think are the possibilities of what she's holding in her hand uh i think it's a camera okay all right and which part of the camera are they looking at mm i think the uh, the screen side uh, in which there is an lcd okay the camera because uh, it might be it might be possible that uh, they snapped a picture and the, now they are both looking at it sure right and what do you think is way off in the background uh i'm not seeing it clearly but i think it's mountains or maybe okay. some rocks okay all right and what do you think what do you think is the relationship between the male and the female uh i don't know maybe they are boyfriend or girlfriend or maybe they are husband and wife okay yeah, and they may be a couple and what other possibilities are there um maybe they are uh, it might be possible they are, that they are, they were colleagues colleagues sure like coworkers yes coworkers right could they be is it possible that they're strangers that they don't yes it is possible that maybe um, the girl is stranger and uh, she want to uh, snap a photo and that's why he, he asked a stranger this boy that uh, could you please uh, snap a picture sure sure could you please take a picture or maybe i just took a picture and your son happened to be in it and it was really cute so i want to show you what it looks like or something like that Yes, yes. There are a whole bunch of possibilities because we can't see everyone that is there, right? There could be other people there as well. Yes. So if of all the possibilities, let's see colleagues like coworkers, they could be friends, they could be boyfriend and girlfriend, they could be ex-boyfriend, <laughs> ex-girlfriend, they could be married, they could be maybe even brother and sister is possible. I don't know. Uh cousins uh neighbors of all of those possibilities what do you think is the most likely i think as both are laughing and both are happy so uh, from that point i think that they are boyfriend and girlfriend sure <laughs> yeah and we, yeah i would say it's a very very good guess cuz they've seem comfortable around each other right if, yes if they were strangers maybe they wouldn't stand so close or maybe she would hold yes. the, hold the camera so he didn't have to get so close to her something like that yeah
Yes, absolutely. And if this was a movie, what movie title would you give it? Mm. Uh I think uh, the movie title name the movie title would be uh maybe mm, a couple uh-huh. at the seaside sure a couple at the seaside or sure, sure. A rare picture taken <laughs> at seaside sure all right i mean maybe. i don't know maybe love near the water or yes maybe we, maybe yes, the, the end <laughs> of a loving relationship yes there's just uh, so many options right i mean just move yes. that up so everyone can see cuz maybe right after this maybe she shows him something in the picture that he's like he's looking at another woman <laughs> <laughs> and and then yes. she's like ah right okay so do you have anything else to say about the picture uh i think uh, one thing which is left is the clothes ah. the boy is wearing uh, a shirt uh, with full sleeves okay long sleeves right and the girl and the girl uh, is wearing uh, a sleeveless uh, shirt All right. And boy has a beard. Uh, All right. And you're doing very well. If I asked you to summarize the picture in just a couple sentences, what would you say? How would you describe it? Uh I would say that uh, uh a couple standing in front of the water. and they are looking uh, at the pictures which they snapped sure i would say something similar i would say uh a couple outside near the water enjoying a funny picture on her camera something like that yeah, yeah. very good all right so at this point i flipped the camera back around so poof here i am and I asked you a lot of questions, right? Boom 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 boom. I think you did very very well. Uh now it's your turn if you have a question for me. Feel free. Uh I just want to t- uh, tell you that I wanted to give IELTS test. Aha. Uh-huh. And uh, what band will you uh, give me for my speaking? I I would be the wrong person to ask on that one. I don't have a lot of experience in the IELTS and band and if I gave you if I chose which band I wouldn't want to be incorrect and give you poor information but what I can I can tell you from my teaching experience you're very confident yes. you're able to answer quickly you're able to answer in complete sentences you're able to use lots of vocabulary uh vocabulary with different meanings uh different ways to say the same thing and you ne- I don't think yes. I don't think you asked me to repeat or slow down at all. So, that would be my assessment. Yeah, I would say you're you're probably upper uh upper intermediate uh or low low level advanced. That's where I would put you. Probably what is it? Uh B2 or C1 somewhere in there. That's what I would probably guess. So, how is my grammar or is there any mistakes that I made? I think there were Well, I won't say mistakes, there were a few words. I think you said uh full full sleeves, which is not incorrect. It's just more people would usually would say uh long sleeves. But okay. The main thing I would say is that it's very easy to understand you. <laughs> it's very easy to communicate with you. And depending on what your goals are, if your goals are communication, I think you're doing very well. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, have a nice day evening what p- time is yes uh, it's a quarter to 6 okay all right in well the, thank in the evening okay well uh shukriya once again thank you very much for coming you're bold and daring thank you, <laughs> okay thank you, you. bye 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 bye
All right. Fabulous. That was great. All right. You guys inspire me. All right. You guys are rating him. <laughs> And I won't give I won't give a rating because I don't have enough expertise for IELTS. All right, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. We have all right. Sukaur, Sukaur. Give it a try. I try to go male than female. Hmm. All right, let's see if someone joins. So enjoy joins. <laughs> ah. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Can I get your I'm name? I'm from. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay. My name is Gurinder Kaur and I'm from India. Aha. So we had one from yeah. Pakistan and now from India. And uh, namaste, right? Yeah. Of course, you can say namaste. <laughs> would, you say, yeah. would you speak Urdu or Hindi or both? Uh, I'm Punjabi, but uh, Indian and we mostly say namaste, but in my... Uh, family, we say Sastri Akal okay. in Punjabi. Yeah. So Namaste is for, yeah, we can say Namaste in well, India. Then I, I will also say uh, Dhanivad for coming on. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Okay. All right. So are you familiar with how things work? Uh, with things like uh, we have to explain a picture. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I for yeah. I say hopefully, hopefully it's voluntary. <laughs> Excuse me. Voluntary. Okay. So, um, did, did, were you going to say something? I'm sorry. Maybe I cut you off. Cause no, you, I'm just uh, first time I came. Uh, I'm just saying, uh, saying he just explained the picture. So yeah. I think I have to explain the picture. That's why I gave the request to you. Right. Yeah. So that's the process. Is I show you a picture. And you explain it, you tell me what you see, and we'll talk about it. I'll ask you some questions. And, uh, oh, I want to say thank you for being very bold. Because it, okay. it takes guts, it takes uh, confidence to come live. I appreciate that. Very well done. So Thank you. Here we go. I'm looking through my pictures. Hmm, what shall we do? Okay, how about this one? All right, I'm going to disappear, and I'm going to turn the camera around. Here we go. So when, whenever you're ready, and I'll try to, you can wait a moment, well, there, that's a little bit more clear. All right, what do you see? Okay, this is a hand, two hands, one for maybe man, another for, for child, and this is a support for a child, we can say. Uh, okay. okay, so if we say, we can say lots of things like father and uh, child and father is the most important uh, role do in family for their child and for their family and what we can say more about it well it's it's kind of a simple picture right and there's not a lot of detail simple. this is a relation between uh, child and father we can say the hand looks like a man <laughs> yeah and how old would you say the child is? Maybe is uh, around three months, six months. Sure. Yeah. And we can see a little bit, just a little bit of the clothing. How would you describe that? Clothing. Mm -hmm. Clothing is like, uh, clothing is brown color. Maybe it, uh, father has wore uh, brown color. Children has wear white. Okay. And... Uh, so deep love, we can say, to between each others. Right. And uh, fathers spend time with their child. It's very important for them and precious time for him. Child is also, they learn lots of things from family, from fathers. This is a time for learning. And uh, we can say like this. Sure. And the the palm part of the hand, how would you describe how the palms are facing the two hands facing like I don't get you let's see let me flip back around just to make sure here I am okay so this is the palm right you could say this is the yeah. back of the hand this is the palm so or the inside of the hand could you I'll go back to the picture 
And could you describe how the palms are situated together with the two hands? And if you're not quite sure, <clears throat> right, here we go. All right. So when we look at... No, I'm... All right, here. Uh, how... Go ahead. Situated, I don't know how to explain this. That's all right. I will give you a hand and see if we can do it. This is what I would say about the palms. Oh, my God. I would say the child's palm <clears throat> is face down. Uh-oh. Something happened. <laughs> well... Aha, uh -huh. AK Ash eight five five two says facing each other. Right. So the palms are facing each other. Right. Brad the Cooper Fever, palms are facing each other. And if I wanted to be extra detailed with complete sentences, I would say the child's palm is face down. The father's palm is face up face up. Aha. Uh -huh. Is face up. Another way you could say it. And I think she left. That's all right. <clears throat> we'll continue explaining the picture. Let me just move it up here. All right. So the child's palm is face down. The father's <clears throat> palm is face up. And like you guys said, their palms are facing each other. And for facing each other, if they were standing and looking at each other, you could say their faces are facing each other. Uh, you, if they're back to back, you could say their backs are facing each other, stuff like that. <laughs> Mr. Munga said, cat caught her phone. <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> oh, interesting. Cat caught her phone. Mm hmm. All right. Well, something happened. I think she's, what, was she, what did she say? She's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> But I think she did very well. She It's kind of a simple picture, but she was able to describe what we have. So if I summarized what I saw in the picture, let's see, here we go. Ain't the same says, the child face down palm is relaxing on the father's face up palm. Sure, right. You could say the father is holding his hand outstretched and the child's hand is placed on top of the father's. And the child's full hand is towards the bottom part of the hand and I think it's the father's right hand and it's the child's right hand as well so they put the bottom the, the bottom of their hands together right and we can see the, the the size difference it's very easy to see all right so I would say this is a very nice picture it makes me think uh, peaceful thoughts peaceful energy and good family vibes between the father and their child and let's see, Ghazal Hosseini says, it is demonstrating a supportive relationship between parents and the child, which can bring safety and trust in the family. I think I agree 110%. Yes. Right, right. So I would say that the picture, that the child feels very safe, very calm, and in a very secure environment. Okay. All right, let's see. So, we'll flip back around. When the people pop in, they pop in quick, and then they pop out quick. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep talking. All right, let's see. Bradley Cooper Fever, sir, can you please explain the term paradoxical with examples? Hmm. Paradox is an apparent contradiction with underlying meaning. Hmm, let's see, hold on just a sec, so I can give you a clear example. So I have Google right here. All right, let's see. Okay, so example it gives me, we'll start with this one. Let's see. Okay, let me flip the camera back around. And we'll talk about an example of a paradox. I'm not going to go so far down this way because we're more talking about pictures today, but we'll give it a try. All right, here's an example. 
let me flip back around. All right. So the sentence. Yeah, yeah, come back. Focus. This sentence is false. Ah, there we go. Ah, focus. Yes, this sentence is false. So there's a contradiction. Let me see one sec. This statement is false. If it's true, then the sentence is false. You know, I just don't have the energy. <laughs> Am I lazy? I don't have the energy to explain paradox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do meaning of uh, paradox meaning. And we'll see what happens. And we'll take it. All right. We'll work with this. Oops. Okay. So this is the long definition of paradox. And we'll work our way through it. But like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because you have Google, I'm sure, and you can read. All right. All right, so here's the definition. A seemingly absurd or self-contradictory statement or proposition that when investigated or explained may prove to be well-founded or true. Hmm. I don't think... <laughs> that sounds... Let's see, I'll flip back around. That sounds so exciting. <laughs> not, not so much. <laughs> Maybe that would be for another day. All right. Okay. <laughs> paradox. Paradox. If you really want to know, go to Google. You could probably even find images, and that would be great. But today we're going to be talking about pictures <laughs> and describing pictures and using vocabulary. All right. So do we have any other requests right now to go live? I don't see any at the moment, so let's see. I'm going to go back to a picture. Let me find one. Aha, this is kind of a nice one. If anybody wants to jump in and request to go live, that would be great. I'm going to flip around, and we're going to look at this picture. You guys type in to me, type in, and let me know what you think, and we'll talk it through. And Aha. Okay, focus, focus, focus. Maybe, ah, give me a moment to focus. Oh, tell you what, I have an idea. While I'm focusing, I'll play music. This is the focus music. Woo. Oh, we'll get to the other part. All right, so that was the music for focusing. Okay, so what can you guys tell me? Who Richmond Famous says yelling. Salma Alaze says, wow, it's scary. Hmm, it's possible. What do we have? What are the different parts of in this picture? I know it can, ah, ooh, that's a little bit better. Yes, all right, focus, love you. Okay, so what do we see? Ghazal Hosseini says, he is mimicking in front of the mirror. Ooh, it looks like it, but actually this isn't a mirror. It's connected to something else. All right. Fahad, one, two, three, four, four, eight, two, three, four, that says, I don't need Google. Teacher knows anything or everything. Well, I would say Google is one of your best resources that you will ever have. <laughs> and if you reject Reject Google as a resource, that's your choice, but I would urge against it because you're probably not going to be able to hang around with the teacher all of the time. And Google is incredible. All right, so let's get back to the picture. Ain't the same. He's checking his teeth out. <laughs> it's possible. Let's see, let me make the picture a little bit bigger and see if you guys can figure out what this thing is. What do you think it is? Ah, ain't the same. Is it a microphone? Yes, it's a microphone. All right, so it's a microphone. So we established that it's a microphone. What do you think he's doing? So it's not a mirror anymore, it's a microphone. <clears throat> All right, oh, I have a request. All right, don't be shy. Come on in. <laughs> All right, let's see, waiting for Adi Pequeroman. Pakeroman, Adi Pakeroman. I apologize for 
mispronouncing. Hello? Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good, sir. All right. How about you? I'm fabulous. Thank you for asking. Um, can you tell me your name and where you're from? Oh, the light. Uh, my name is Atifi. Uh, you can call me Atif. Okay. And where are you from? I'm from Papua, Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh, selamat datang. Yes. Saya senang uh, anda dengan saya di sini untuk ngomong bahasa Inggris. <laughs> oh, yeah. And where are you from? I'm from the U.S., from America. Okay, nice. Oh. Nice, to, nice to meet you. You too. Okay, so this is what okay. we're going to do is actually, oh, I'll show you who I am. For, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so this is what we're going to do is I will show you a picture and you tell me what you see, okay? And we can, yes, right. we, we can start with the last one, tell me what you saw, and once we get through that, uh, we can start with another one, that's fine. But uh, you tell me what you see, I'll ask you some questions, and then after we're finished, you can ask me a question. Okay? I'll get there. <laughs> All right, maybe I talk too fast. Let's get to the picture. All right, and tell me what you see. Yes, All right. Okay, so oh, this is a picture. Okay, what, is, what do you see in the picture? So it's a network. I'm sorry? What, 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 what do you see in the picture? Do you see... Uh, this... Is it, is it a... Right, is it a boy yeah. or a girl? Yes, boy. <laughs> right. And what what is the boy doing? He's he's singing. Right. He's singing. And do you think he's singing wow. well or badly? Well, it, <laughs> <laughs> it right. It it kind of looks like he's yelling. Right. He's yelling very loudly. Yes, I see. Right. And what do we call this right here? What would you call that? Uh, what is this? <laughs> Are you getting help? <laughs> what is this? So oh he, my God! Uh, so he's singing uh, into what? What is this thing called? Yes. It's so. What is it? What is it, that? It's a microphone, right? Yes, I, I see the microphone. Right. It's a microphone. I don't, I don't. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds kind of kind of wild and exciting there. All right. Yes, sir. All right. So the boy is singing into the microphone, and can you can you tell me about his eyes? What is he doing with his eyes? Yes. Are his eyes are they open or closed? Open or closed? Wow. Right, his eyes are closed because he's very intense. <laughs> he's very very focused on singing. I his eyes. Uh huh. And how how old do you think the boy is? Uh, I think uh, fourteen years old. Fourteen? Fourteen okay. or ten? Yes, yeah, ten years old. Sure, that's possible. And what what do you think he's singing about? Uh, maybe he's a sing singer. Right. And what do you think his song is about? Yeah, I don't know what song he's singing. Oh, not what song here. Uh, let me show you my question. Yeah. What? 
What is he singing about? Hmm. What do you think? He is singing about what? What is singing? Is it possible that he's singing about his girlfriend? Oh my god. His girlfriend. <laughs> um, I think I don't think I don't think so, sir. Oh, okay. What is he singing about? Yeah. I think it's just singing. All right. Maybe he's singing about the food he loves to um, eat. Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe he's uh, entertaining or singing like that. Right. So he could be singing about anything. He could be singing a love song. Yeah. Or about food. Or maybe about the journey. He's about. Yes, maybe. Me. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. And. This col what is the what are the colors of this picture? Uh white. White and white and uh and black. Right. So we could say it's a it's a black and white picture. Sometimes people yeah. will just say, will just say BW, right? For black and white. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we had already been talking about this picture. So let me show you something else, and we'll do this one. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Let's see where are we? Oh. <laughs> let me show you the picture from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> that's a grand, that's grand. a beautiful <laughs> look like look like <laughs> yeah, okay. wow. All nice. so, oh my god. Well, like look, beautiful. What, yeah. Okay, so what can you tell me about this person? Uh maybe an uh, actor. Maybe what? He's an actor. An actor. Uh huh. He's an actor. An an actor. Oh, like an an actress. Yes, actor. Right. For a woman, we would say actress, and then for a man, we'd say an actor. Yes. <laughs> right. Let me move this up. So it's possible. It could be. It could be a man that is dressed up as a woman. I don't know. But <laughs> I look like man. Look like man. Yeah, I I agree. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree with that. And, and it says, it says, uh, she's angry, happy, scared, confused, and intrigued, all at the same time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. so. You could say she has many different emotions. Wow. She's ugly. <laughs> All right, let's see. She's ugly. All right, she's ugly. <laughs> I, I, I would agree. She has different emotions. Of course. Okay, and what do you call these on her face right here? What do you call these in English? In English, elbow, 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 elbow. Uh, not quite. Oh, you're you're getting there. Here, let me put the text back up. It's not elbow. It starts with e, e, y, e. Yeah. I, 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 elbow. Oh, elbow. Yeah. <laughs> and if it's just one, if it's one eyebrow, we just say one, or if we could say both. Yeah. Both eyebrows. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Eyebrows. Yeah. If you ask me, I would say she or maybe he. I'm not sure. <laughs> has really crazy eyebrows. Right. Yes. 
I grow. <laughs> right. And why 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 do you think she has eyebrows like this? Because uh, because she is an artist. But not sure of it. Sure, right? Maybe it's part of making a movie. Maybe she's an actress. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to flip back around. Yeah. I just got a friend. Yeah. I said and I and I said. Hello. So do do you think should I get eyebrows like her? <laughs> And no 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 no. No, no. no. <laughs> right. Okay. okay, so I showed you a picture and I asked you questions yes, and we talked about the picture. Oh, okay. Now it's your yes, turn. You can yes, You can ask me one question, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I I will ask you. I will ask you. I will ask you one question. question. Okay. Yes. I like I like that describe about the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I I think you like the eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, th yeah. thank you for coming live and I think maybe there are other yeah. people that are waiting. So, terima kasih. Okay. Terima kasih sampai yeah, jumpa. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, see you again. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank okay. you. Okay. Yes. You're welcome. Okay. I bet you guys didn't know that that lady was going to come back. <laughs> Crazy eyebrows, right? So much positive energy. That was great. All right. I think I have time for one more. So I'll look to see if anybody is looking to join. Let's see. Let's see. All right. English Master Shane. Let's see if you're there, if you want to join. Let's see. Wait waiting for English Master Shane. <laughs> Hello. Hi, bro. Can I get your name and where you're from? Oh, my name is Shane and I'm from India right now. Okay, and uh Hindi, Urdu or Punjabi or something different? Actually, I speak English and Hindi also. I'm Gujarati okay. also. So, would you say uh Hindi or I mean, sorry, would you say Namaste? Yeah, I can say Namaste. Good okay. morning. <laughs> and would you say what would you use more often, uh, Shukriya or Dhanyavad? Dhanyavad. Dhanivad. Okay, so Dhanivad for we, thank we you. We are not belong to Urdu, okay? Oh, you don't do Urdu. Okay. Well, thank you for coming live. Are yeah, you yeah. ready? Are you ready for a picture? Yeah, I am ready. Yes, I love the positive energy. All right. Let's see what we have. Okay, here is a picture. Now I disappear. So show me what or tell me what you see and then we'll talk about it. Okay, I'll do that no problem. All right. Oh, let me put on my music so I focus. Aha, there it is. Okay. Yeah. What yeah, do yeah. you see in the picture? Yeah, the snow snow uh, sorry, raining is going on. Okay. And uh, there are two girls means one a child and one a lady over there. Okay. they are getting enjoy in the rain i think <laughs> right yeah. what is the location uh, i think it's a it's a pond i think it's a pond i think sure is it is it possible that it's a river or what do you think maybe it's possible it's a river and pond also and for sure we have lots of water right yeah it's a lot of water there and since they're smiling Do you think it's hot or cold outside? Uh maybe a cold because uh, maybe a hot uh, hot weather but there is raining hopping and they are getting enjoy. Sure. And 
It looks like this is a child. How old would do you think she is? I think she's a five to six year old. Okay. And the woman, how old do you think she is? Uh, she's eighteen, nineteen, I think, maybe. Sure. And it's your opinion because I don't know the exact answers. <laughs> We're just talking. <laughs> so, so how come you said that? This because because I need to test your English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I understand now. Oh. Okay, and uh, actually, I'm you... also teaching uh, English. Okay. Uh huh. I'm still doing here, and I'm teaching English there. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm. I'm also English. I'm an English teacher. Fabulous. And let's see. I'll just ask you a couple more questions. Can you tell me? Okay, you can ask. No problem. You can ask. If I know, then I will definitely give the answer. Okay. Wonderful. Can you describe what the lady is doing? with the uh i guess the the banana leaf i can say this i can say this in in her hand is an umbrella right <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a it's a indian movie it's not an indian movie it's a south indian movie i think okay uh there is one picture over there i have seen this picture i don't know exactly name but uh, <laughs> yeah this is a cheap umbrella right <laughs> it, it, what is he using it for? What is the leaf for? What is the purpose? It's a banana tree's uh, uh, leaf, I think. And is or why is she holding it up? What is she trying to do? Uh, she 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 trying. There's raining happening, so that's why she is trying to. Um, uh, what I can say that. Um, uh, what I can say, I don't understand. There is raining happening, so that's why he's using umbrella. I think. Sure, she's trying to block the rain, uh, right? She's holding it up. Otherwise, we can say there is a um, um, what I can say. Uh, do you know uh, there is any fountain in 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 there? And fountain drop is happening, so that's why uh, she is using this cheap umbrella. Sure. Maybe. Okay. And would you? Would you say is her umbrella a success or a failure? <laughs> <laughs> it's a failure, I think. It's a failure. Right. It's not just a failure. It's a horrible failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, horrible failure. Really, it's horrible Because failure. Right. They are completely soaked. Yeah, right? they are so completely soaked. Yes. Plus, they're sitting in the water, so I don't think they really want to stay dry. Right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so if this was a movie, what title would you give this movie? Um, two girls in the two girls in the pond. I think. <laughs> sure. I, yeah. I would call I would call it the worst umbrella in the history of umbrellas. <laughs> We can't give too much uh, the name of movie. <laughs> you know. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna flip back around. Yeah, yeah. And if you yeah, have a question for can me, I, can I ask something to you? Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Go ahead. Can I ask some some question to you? Yes. Hello. Yes. Go ahead. You can ask me a question. That's fine. Yeah. I am here. Go ahead. Ask a question. I'm not hearing you. Hmm. It looks okay, like the connection her. is a little. Oh, actually, where, where yeah. you are belonging to, I don't, I don't know. Exactly, where are you belonging to? Can Can I ask something about you? Okay, like where am I from? Yeah, I'm from America, United States. You know, United States. Where you are staying? Like in New York, New Jersey. Where you are staying? Uh, right now, I'm in Indonesia. Where? In Indonesia. Indonesia. Right. Indonesia. So I'm in Indonesia. Okay. So okay. I'm probably I'm probably only what maybe three hours difference from you, maybe four. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little bit far from us. Right. Yeah. And it's really But in long. In Indonesia, there means there are so many uh, things happening. Like there is a uh, earthquake. So something is happening. Is right or wrong? There's always something happening. 
I have to. I have seventeen seconds, so I will come back live and I'll bring you back in. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. So I have. To, okay, put a request in. Okay. Okay. So I went. <laughs> I go so long and I go too long. All right. Let's see. I don't like to end conversations so short. Ah, see if people come back. If he comes back and he requests, then we can finish our conversation. But Instagram gave me a timer and said you have twenty some seconds left. So let's see if he comes back. All right, I'm waiting. Let's see if he comes back. I didn't catch what his name was. Ah. Can someone tell me in the comments what was his name? The guy that I was just talking with. Cause, let's see, Yuri Tov Tovgui says, "I thought you were Russian." I'm not Russian. Stravstoycha kakbas sabut, but no, I I don't. <laughs> I'm not Russian. Let's see if the guy comes back. I'd like to get him back if possible. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna wait for just a little bit. It was Master English Sean. Master English Sean. Hosan Mizori, that was his name? Master English Sean? Let's see if I can find him. Master. Well, I don't think he came back on, so I can't invite him to go live. Bradley Cooper Fever, sir, what happened? The time. Ran out? <laughs> so I had to close it quickly to make sure I can share the live. If I don't share the live, or if it, I'm not quite sure, if it shuts down by itself, sometimes it won't share the live. So I went out and went back. Say, Gloria Susanto, have you ever visited Indonesia? Yes, I'm in Indonesia right now. <laughs> English Master Shane, that was his name. Thank you, Bradley Cooper Fever. Let's see if I can find him. English Master Shane Searching, search for him. No, I'm not finding him. Ah, I hate to end conversations so abruptly, but Instagram will kick me out. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm doing well. Looks like everyone came back, but I've been on live for a long time now. And I had a great time with you guys. We did a lot of stuff. I'm going to do one last thing. See, Hosan Mizori says, I found him. Huh. Well, if I... Has he come back on? If he has come back on, I would bring him back on, but... All right. No worries, no worries. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I will go back to the picture and we'll we'll finish with that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nihal Tech Kirdag says, You are the cutest cop I've ever seen. Hmm. You must have been looking at my history. <laughs> yes, I used to be a cop. Uh, when I was a cop, I was probably more serious, <laughs> unless there was a time to be fun and stuff like that. Gloria Susanto says, can you say good night in Indonesian? So you're asking me, Anda bisa bicara selamat malam di bahasa Indonesia? Ya, saya bisa ngomong bahasa Indonesia. Saya udah lama di Indonesia. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back to the picture, and then we'll finish up there. All right. And then I'm going to have to be over for tonight. You guys are great. You guys inspire me. So much wonderful energy. All right. So this was the picture that we were talking about. And my name for the, the movie title was The Cheapest <laughs> and Most Horrible Umbrella in the World. The lowest quality. But it's probably easy to say that uh, they're really not caring about staying dry. Right? Okay. So this picture, if I summarize it, I would say there are two females sitting in a pond or a river of water. <laughs> and I would say that 
This is a little girl. She's holding some sort of basket, maybe. I'm not quite sure. And there is another lady. She's a, she is a bit older. And uh, perhaps she's the girl's mother, or maybe aunt, or a relative. Who knows? And let's see. So they're both smiling. They're having a wonderful time out in the rain, which makes me think that it's probably not too cold. It must be hot, and it must be refreshing. And... The banana leaf, I'm not quite sure what purpose. Maybe there's some sunshine too and they're trying to block. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, so uh, if I gave it a regular movie title, I maybe like Adventure in the Jungle <laughs> or something like that. All right, AK Ash 8552 says True Love Movie, right? And Bradley Cooper Fever says I would title Love in the Rain. All right, not bad. In the kind of love, you could say maybe family love. Maybe it's possible they're siblings, maybe sisters, or maybe mother and daughter love, aunt and niece love, something like that. All right, Nina772 says, the banana leaf memory. I think that's nice. Banana leaf memory. Whoops. And since it's a title, I would put it all caps, right? The Banana Leaf Memory. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, all right, so I've been on live for about an hour and a half already today, so I'm going to be going, but I'll switch back around. And so you can see me. Woo! Okay, let me take a drink quick. So I guess there were three separate lives today because we did the first one where we did the, uh, <clears throat> the inspirational quote. We did the meme. <laughs> Remember the meme with the eyebrows? Oh, that was lovely. Okay. All right. So I think that's going to be it today. If you want to see more of what we have, you can go to ableidioms.com. We're also on YouTube. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of those wonderful social media places. And I think, wow, people are joining. It's like I want to keep going, but I can't because it's getting late. <laughs> First, I want to say thank you. <clears throat> thank you to the people that came live today. You guys are bold, confident. It might be uncomfortable, but when you guys come live, it's a great opportunity to improve your English. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for coming live. And everybody who's down in the comments, thank you as well, because you guys give us some inspiration, right? Sometimes when we're live with people or we're on the spot, like someone's looking at us, we don't think of everything, so we can peek down at the comments and <laughs> we can see. Ah, oh, someone said, when will you be live? Ooh, great question. I can't leave yet. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys something. All right, let's see. Tomorrow night, I will be going live too. So tomorrow night, my time. All right. So tomorrow, uh, wait, I got to put my music on to get back in focus. Okay, I should probably stay focused here. Ah, dang it, it went out focus again. There we are. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So tomorrow, I will be going live with Teacher Will. He has invited me to do a live with him, so I will go to his account. <clears throat> and we will be live. So we'll be chatting about, I'm sure, English type things. <laughs> so you're welcome to come. I will put a countdown timer in my Instagram story so you can check it out uh, so you can get a reminder or something like that but we'll be chatting um, if you guys know teacher will you can check out his page but we'll be going live tomorrow so that's just one day away and I'm gonna come back here I'm trying to make it a habit of going live every Wednesday and Sunday that seems to work alright with my schedule and I try to go about this time uh, where it's evening for me, but it seems to be when most of the people are available. Okay. Bradley Cooper Fever says, Ha ha, sir, you're too much fun to be with. But I'm only half. I'm only half of the conversation. If I didn't have you guys, it would be just me 
by myself being strange. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, AK Ash8552 says, I'm really getting confident in English when I'm watching your live. Wonderful. Great. So maybe in the next time you can request to come live. Uh, tomorrow I'll be talking with Ash Teacher Will. So we'll be chatting, but on Sunday I'll be going live. And sometimes, like in the morning, I get extra energy and I pop up and I go live. Last time I think we talked about pronunciation and some improvement stuff. But okay. All right. You guys are wonderful, and I'm going to do my tradition when I end. I'm going to say thank you to you guys in as many languages as you can. <clears throat> if you can, show me what languages you speak, and I will try to uh, say thank you in your language. Key in English. Wow, those are a lot of apples. So let's start. English. Thank you very much. Arabic. Shokran. French. Merci beaucoup. German. Danke schön. Hindi. Let's see. Namaste. Urdu. Shukriya. Japanese, uh, arigato, arigato, Mr. Robato. Uh, let's see, Korean, kamsahamnida. Mandarin Chinese is she she. Cantonese is doche. Uh, Hokkien Chinese is uh, gamsia. All right. And Russian, be spasiba. Spanish, gracias. Uh, Portuguese, multo. Obrigado, obrigado, muito obrigado. Uh, <clears throat> Italian, I think, is grazie, right? Grazie. And, oh, sign language, American Sign Languages. Thank you very much for watching me <laughs> and talking with me. Okay, I need to go. It's hard to leave because you guys are so freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, see, see you until next time.